What is up, super fans and mega fans on Patreon? Yo, 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 check it out. We got Oblivia this month. 10 VJ clips of uh, this beautiful model. This is actually a 3D model. This is a collaboration uh, together with Kalum. And he's uh, creating a beautiful uh, 3D models and he's selling them online. And I'll add a link if you want to have Oblivia in your house, physical. It's possible, it's crazy. Anyways, what, I, what happened is I saw his uh, beautiful creation and I immediately wanted to create uh, VJ loops out of it. So this is what I did this month. Let's uh, go over the clips, go over the mixes that I think uh, you can make. And from here, it's gonna be yours. So the first clip is eight seconds of four different, uh, three different lights ups. You see this light coming with swoosh, another one from the back, another one from below. This is the first clip. The second clip is also lights, different lights roaming around the, the hall. And um, I like it when you can uh, start introducing Oblivia to the audience. I think it's a, it's a great uh, start of a set or to come in the, in the quiet, in the quiet uh, part of the, of the set. The next one is uh, Ray. Uh, God Ray or uh, the ray of light coming from above and uh, you see how dim is the room and uh, it's just beautiful. The next one is um, four different emissions, it's called Beat Emit, four different uh, patterns, three different patterns and one, uh, one pattern that shows everything together. The next one is just the hole and if you know me you know that uh, I like to Layer later the clips, so I prepared for you a background which is a, a ready for a compositing. And the next one is also just a room with a bar of light, and then it uh, it lights up and disappears. The next clip is a is an element. Uh, we've got uh, here Oblivia is opening up and closing again with this uh, emission. And uh, the next one is similar, but it's uh, still, we have the four different emissions from before. It's just uh, on transparent background, so we can compose it later. The next one are two different uh, oblivions from, the, from both sides. And the 10th uh, clip is this uh, flyby uh, on Bolivia, on Oblivia. And um, these are the 10 clips. And I'm giving you as well these uh, three elements, which are rotated on the side just to fit as much uh, as pixels as possible. So you can then later uh, rotate it and have it at full resolution, maybe to place it in different places on your mapping or whatever. Okay, so one, two, and three from the side. All right, now that we got uh, the 10 different clips and three elements, we can talk about a little bit of uh, coloring maybe. So I prepared a couple of clips here with different uh, U uh, rotates. So this is a nice uh, look, I think. Just the only difference here, the U is on 40%. This uh, one is on 31%. It's more of a greenish uh, red. And another one, which is a colorized uh, effect. Now, of course, we can just apply um, this U rotate on all the layer, right? And then if I want to uh, layer stuff, I can have uh, different uh, colors that will affect all the layer itself. But uh, I leave it to you to choose uh, the right colors for the right uh, lights or a mood of the event that you are uh, performing. So let's talk about what I did here. The next thing is I prepared, this is the original clip, and here we got just the um, part, half of this clip, right? If you can do all kinds of uh, effects out of this, and we got uh, the other part of this clip, which is just the uh, backward and forward lights. Also, you can uh, just speed it up and do whatever you like. Next one is the one with the lights from the sides. So this one also the original. And I also cut this clip. Um, I didn't cut it, I applied here in a, a mirror. And um, right now we got lights from both sides. 
remember this one is just the one light from each side and I also sped it up a little bit. So that's a nice clip. Uh, we've got one clip that's only trimmed to where the light goes up the stairs. We got uh, one clip that just these two lights with the mirror. The next clip is this uh, light up. Um, when uh, you get a ray of light coming from above, the next clip is just a sped up version of this. The next one is just, you won't believe it, it's a still. We can video with the still images because this can work really well with the next one. And we can also speed it up a little bit if we want to get into uh, the mood. And if not, we can always go back to this, um, this version. And we got uh, uh, already a version here, which is sped up. Okay, now also we can kind of compose as I showed you before. So we got this one on the, on the background and we can put this one, it's fitting quite well. Uh, the light won't affect it, but um, still can create the interesting uh, looks. All right, now that we are done with these uh, beautiful clips, let's talk about uh, layering. So, right, I prepared, let's see. I prepared this clip that I showed before, it's just the hole. This is the whole clip. This is a, a slow one, this is a fast one. And I also created all kinds of different um, mirroring and transform effects that just uh, create the same, make out of the same background, different backgrounds. Let's see different ones here. There's another one here that's uh, more abstract. It moves around. And uh, they are kind of repeating because we just want backgrounds to have always to our, uh, to our compositions. So this is the gist of it. Of course, each one of these, you get the, the project, of course, so you can just uh, bypass and see how the, they were made. So this one is, um, I get a little bit of rotation here, and then I get this part, and then I'm just mirroring it. I had some uh, bleeding of black uh, here, so I just uh, scale it up a little bit. So right, when we have this one, we can already add a, a other kind of an element to it, and maybe a center element as well. And what we get is this beautiful uh, composition, right? When this is moving, these ones are uh, emitting, and um, notice that here we got a little bit of a movement on the position X for the two uh, symmetric ones, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And from here on, we just uh, have different, uh, different uh, compositions ready for you. Check this one, for instance, also a hypnotic one. And this is made, of course, with the uh, radial cloners. And uh, let's, let's check uh, this one. So this one is made simple, look. Just this, and the radio cloner will already get a nice, uh, nice effect. And of course, they are rotating. Each one is them is rotating to a different uh, direction here on the master rotation of the radio cloner. Okay, let's uh, see other ones. So this is using the empty hole just to flash this, and uh, this has these uh, levels to flicker a little bit on the beat. Another one in the center, we got this uh, thing that is more a uh, bit reactive. And we got two of these uh, on the sides, just a mirror of uh, the center that you saw before. This one is nice because it just uses the flip effect here. And you see, you can see from within, you can see the background, the back. And I like how it looks. Okay, this one is just uh, for the beat. Wow, this is cool, right? So uh, how, what, which, where? Where, it's, you know, sometimes it just happens to, I just happen to get to really nice places and I'm just like bewildered myself of myself. It's fun. So this one, let's uh, break it apart. It's using um, a background that uh, I showed you before. 
And on top of this, I'm uh, having this uh, element clip, but it has a linear cloner on it. And the linear cloner has a uh, delay here. And that's the whole gist of this, but look how beautiful the trail of them looks. And then we add these, uh, I don't know how to call them even, ornaments, alien ornaments. And then let's see how these were made. So it should have a transform and a mirror. And it's actually using this uh, element, having a radio clone with a fan, mirrored, and then transformed to the side, mirrored again, and then we just have this, um, have this uh, transform to make it bounce on the beat. And that's the outcome. Fantastic. All right, uh, keeping up. Uh, this is a nice one as well. Uh, this one is using a background, a different background. And here we have this clip with a, a mirror and the red cloner with delay. That's the whole story. And you get a beautiful effect. Here we got two different uh, elements on the sides, an element on the center, another one that's similar to it, but uh, just uh, this is more uh, on the beat. This is the background I showed before, and I'm using here, doing some kind of a, a supposedly like a parallax effect where the closer ones are moving faster, right? These two on the sides and then the middle one is moving less rapidly and then we got the background which moves really and this looks like it's uh, everything moves together and having this uh, creating this illusion of parallax check this one this is so beautiful this is a combination of um, of what actually let's see so this is the background the background is made, what's going on here? So the background is made from this uh, tail fin, maybe, which is made from just a mirror on this. So this is this part mirrored. Then I did all kinds of, uh, I jumped through all kinds of hoops to somehow separate it. And then I added a radio cloner. So this is it, and on top of it, we've got uh, this clip that we already know. Rather cloner with a with a mirror, and check out the final. Okay, I showed you before. I just can look at it without the uh, without the uh, limits. Next one is this, uh, and I prepared another one which is a rotating. Okay, the next one, I started to create some kind of uh, frames in the foreground, you know, that uh, they are uh, obstructing, obstructing the, the center. So this is one and this is another one. This is also cool. We got uh, two elements from the sides and we're doing here some kind of a, of a weird thing on this. It's actually what's going on here. So this one we know it's rather cloner simple, but then I had this kind of a trail here by, I think I remember, I remember myself, let's see. This was, a, I'm, I'm changing the end scale and the end rotation. And that's how I create this beautiful effect. Sometimes I forget myself how things are made. Another radial cloner with a delay, different background. This is just a, a center one. This is for you, Harish. The three titted Oblivia. And um, another one, which is a parallax, parallax uh, look. By the way, this is not uh, moving. This is just uh, using 
a transformer yeah to 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 bring it from down and up all the way up and then it repeats itself okay some uh, compositions with uh, three different uh, uh, statues different backgrounds this one is kind of the same one like before but without the mirror different background this is covering the center this is just a it's on the beat you can just leave it just leave it be and here we had uh, this, uh, different uh, see where i took these uh, ornaments from before so what i did here is uh, you see there is a little bit of a uh, movement on the center face because we have a um, transform here somewhere let's see this one yeah we got a little bit of a transform moving sideways just to make it uh, more uh, lively this is a uh, another one similar but it's more of a uh, ambient this is more on the beat And all of these are made from the same uh, 10 core clips. Of course, another one here. With a different ornament and uh, this face on face. Also interesting how it was made. It was made, this is rotating, this is... Okay, so just a face with a radial cloner and then a mirror on it. And rotating and we created this uh, this beautiful thing next one just with a more uh, of a beat to it the the way it spins just uh, makes me dizzy I kept it on another one more ambient with different uh, kinds of arrangements here as a as um, ornaments Yeah, that's about it. I kept everything I made here for you. You can choose what you like, what you like less. Maybe you can just copy all the array and drop it on different clips that you have. Right? Just uh, go wild. I'm uh, starting to think about the next reward. And if you're not uh, part of this uh, Patreon uh, community, consider joining. We're having a lot of fun here. This is the, the reward for this month. I'm hoping it's going to amaze your audience. That's the whole reason that we started VJing, right? We want to make awe for people. We want them to come and to experience something they couldn't experience before. That's why I use this uh, beautiful creation by Kalum and um, go out, amaze them. Booyakasha!